My name is Anthony Pascarella. And I'm Gino Pascarella. We are the Pascarella Brothers. Today we'll be making stuffed zucchini blossoms, zucchini flowers. Zucchini flowers. Zucchini flowers. So first we're going to make the batter. We're going to take uh, gluten-free flour, roughly a cup. You could use regular flour, but our thing is gluten-free. You're going to take your jazzy brand name seltzer. This will make a nice, light, airy batter. I like a tempura batter, but uh, no, we're Italian, so we're not going to call it a tempura batter. It's almost like a Zeppeli batter. Now we're just going to keep it on until it's smooth. Okay, so the next step, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prep the little zucchini flowers, okay? With this blossom, there's a few things you have to do. We already uh, washed it and dried it out, so now it's ready for the cleaning part. First thing I'm going to do is take these little uh, stem pieces off of the flower. The most important part, inside here, there's a stamen. Now this stamen, it's not really good to eat. So what you want to do, you want to get your finger in here and uh, just take this little piece out here. Nice job on the terminology. Without, oh, did you look that up? I did look it up. Okay, we're gonna zest one lemon. It's gonna turn just about every stroke. Love the smell of lemon. Looks like one of those Capri lemons. If you've ever been to Capri, famous for their lemons. I wish this was a Capri lemon. Wish we were in Capri. That would make sense. <laughs> That's the craziest laugh in the world. You sound like a Muppet. <laughs> All right. Now that he's done zesting the lemon, I'm gonna chiffon out some basil. Now, once again, we just took this out of our garden because we have an excess supply of it. Now these are two very delicious flavors from the basil to the lemon zest. It's really going to enhance your dish here. Okay, now we're going to cut some uh, red jano off this big beautiful chunk here. We're going to grate some red jano. We need some nice long pieces. This is one of those things you just need enough to taste it. You don't have to overkill it with cheese. There's plenty of cheese in this dish already. Plenty. Okay, now we can combine all the ingredients. Yeah, some ricotta cheese. This is roughly a, an, an entire 16 ounce container. If you buy it in the store, if you get fresh, it's about a pound. That was a joke. <laughs> get your Reggiano, your lemon zest, basil, a pinch of salt, and a touch of pepper. Now the good thing with this dish, you can actually be creative. Put whatever you like in there. Create some flavors that don't normally go together. I mean, some other variations, uh, you can put some prosciutto, would be fantastic. Um, you know, my mother used to put what, some pepperoni when we were young. Pepperoni is different, it's, it's more American, but it's, um, give me a little bite anyway. Mix it. I'm gonna fill the pastry bag, if you can find the pastry bag at the supermarket. In the baking aisle, it's only about maybe four or five dollars, it comes with a bunch of attachments. If you can't find a pastry bag, you can just take a uh, sandwich Ziploc bag and cut the corner and use it the exact same way. Gino's trying to open up all the flowers for me. Gently fill these. Okay, our chilled batter. It's perfect. Check it out. Very delicate, not going to be easy. The finished product you'll be very happy with. I'm going to drop some of these into the hot pan. Now, these aren't the easiest things in the world to find. So, you either have to have a garden, or know someone has a garden, or uh, make someone that has a garden. Now with this batter, you can see all the veins of the flower. It's really beautiful. As soon as you take them out, you want to lightly season them, you arrange them, and that's it. Well, there you have it. Stuffed zucchini flowers, zucchini blossoms. Uh, not exactly in abundance throughout the year, but if you have a garden or you know someone that has a garden, great time to ask for a favor and make some of these. They're great for an appetizer. Bring it to your friend's house, a little cocktail party. 
It's a great uh, treat for the summer. Enjoy. Thank you.